Okay, so now we're gonna talk about assessing a scar. So as you can tell, uh, this scar is really pretty old. It's completely healed. So one of the things you're gonna do is just assess not only along the scar, but also the tissue right next to it. Okay, another thing you're gonna do is try to separate the fascial layers and do a little bit of rolling of the skin. See how bound down it is. See if there's any keloid or fibrosis that's really sticking that, that whole fascial system together. So if you find an area that's a little bit bound down, you can obviously roll it. You can do a little bit more of an aggressive swipe with a lot more pressure through it to try to help that tissue lay down in a more organized fashion. It's also important to do what's called J strokes or even just bending of the scar. So I'm kind of bending it in the frontal plane. I'm gonna reverse that to really help that tissue be a little bit more flexible. Another thing that you can do is do little circles to help break up fibrosis. So we're gonna go clockwise, we're gonna go counterclockwise. All of this is also helping with desensitization if that's something they need. They may have a scar that's really sensitive, so make sure you're communicating with your patient. You can also do swipes in different planes of motion. Remember, fascia is omnidirectional, so it's important to take that into consideration.